Wherever I go and I travel all over the world visiting these facilities, I see many of the same things. So I was aware that um, mainland Chinese facilities were expanding. They were being built very quickly. Um, there were a lot more every year. And here in China, it's even worse because everything about it is a lie. Children are exposed to animals being forced to do things that aren't natural to them or being forced to clown. It does exactly the opposite of what anybody hopes it would do. It... it teaches them false information that can lead to a lifetime of misunderstanding. When their skin was so bad, I felt they should be under a veterinarian, uh, veterinarian's care. Like, as we were watching them, they should have been in a hospital. That just really infuriated me. Again, it's something that even other facilities in China and outside of China would consider inappropriate. Why are these animals performing when they're not healthy. Making the animals do things that are completely unnatural. Teaching them tricks. Having, you know, a sea lion walk like a person is grotesque. And the walrus with the sea lions, I've never seen that before. Nobody else does that. It's just ecologically wrong. So that's not teaching people. The dolphins were going over a wall, a low wall that separated two different tanks. They could go over another wall that dropped them onto the deck. They could actually hurt themselves going over the wall. Um, let's say there was some sort of damage on the wall, they could scrape their bellies on it. I think that's really dangerous little child that goes into the little plastic boat and gets towed around by the dolphin. Nobody's with the child. If she decided to let go of the handle and... I just thought that was really dangerous. They've probably done it thousands and thousands of times with no problem. But when it comes to this sort of situation, it only takes once. Disaster. The main catalyst for the change that we've seen in the United States is somebody died. So the blackfish effect was when somebody made a film about the trainer being killed. It changed everything. And sometimes it does take that sort of tragedy to shift public opinion about certain practices. Once they were able to pull her away, how did he let go of the... I think one of the most effective things of teaching children about anything these days, let alone nature, is paradoxically technology. Newer and better animatronics, computer graphics, virtual reality, interactive ways for children to learn about things. You can teach them anything that way. You can show case any behavior. You can highlight any habitat. You can write the script any way you want, whereas with a live animal, you can only do what the animal will let you do. Just in the last six years, I've been making so much progress. Everything's moving really, really fast now in a good way in the West. And then Russia starts capturing orcas again. They capture belugas and they sell them to China. And China is building so many facilities. Everywhere else the industry is shrinking and here it's expanding. 
I wish I could just wave a magic wand and make things better. I want to be happy and enthusiastic and optimistic. Things are changing so quickly in the West, in a good way. But it's difficult because it's all going backwards here in the East.